Hey up guys! So today's movie that I'm reviewing is the new French 80s set gay romance slash drama Summer of 85 which is based on the book by Aidan Chambers, Dance on My Grave, and has been adapted by writer-director Francois Ozon. I haven't read the book I'm afraid but I really enjoyed this movie. Summer of 85 is very much a story of first love, sexual exploration, and heartbreak. Set in France during the summer of 85, funnily enough, teenager Alexis, played by Felix Lefebvre, is rescued by the dashing, slightly older David, played by Benjamin Voisson, when his boat capsizes. Apologies if I butchered their names, there's a good chance I probably mispronounced them. A romance blossoms between the two boys. For Alexei, this is his first time being in love. It's all new and exciting and passionate. It's very intense. But for David, he's had a little bit more experience with both the boys and girls, so he's a little bit more chilled with the situation. So many of us can relate to a story like this, whether gay or straight, that whole first love and everything's just so intense because you've never had feelings like this before and your whole world revolves around this person. It's a magical time of your life when that first happens. But the problem with these summer romances, which most of us can attest to, is that eventually all the passion and fire and excitement kind of burns out. It's the same thing with Alexi and David because this is Alexi's first time being in love and he's so infatuated with David he doesn't want it to end. However, with David, he's in a different stage of his development, of his adolescence, and he, you know, wants to be with multiple partners. He doesn't want to be tied down to someone just yet, so he gets bored of uh, Alexi quite quickly. And most of us can relate to this in some sense, being in a relationship where you're more invested in it than they are, or they're more invested in it than you are. It's something that a lot of us have experienced whilst growing up. After the exciting honeymoon phase of this new relationship starts to fizzle out for the boys, some drama happens, and I can't say what it is because it's a huge spoiler. I've heard a lot of people calling Summer of 85 the French Call Me By Your Name, and while I can see why people would make that connection because it is a gay, coming-of-age, 80s set romance, it's a very generalized comparison. It's like when people compare Star Trek and Star Wars to each other just because they have a few similarities, but they're very different stories. For one, there's a great deal more sadness in Summer of 85 than there is in Call Me By Your Name. Again, it's a very big spoiler to say what exactly that sadness entails, but it is heartbreaking. Also, the way the two films are structured is very different. Call Me By Your Name was just one long, linear, lazy Italian summer well, it's not the same for Summer of 85. This is actually split into two narrative strands, the first being the Summer of 85 with the romance between Alexi and David, and then there's a second narrative, you could call it a flash forward, or maybe you'd call the Summer of 85 a flashback, but there's two paralleling narrative strands, and the second is set after the events of the Summer of 85, and Alexi is waiting to go to court for something that he was arrested for. It's not clear at the start of the film what it is, which adds a bit of mystery to the, the movie itself. There were a couple times where I needed a second to adjust to which narrative strand I was in, but for the most, I did appreciate Francois Ozon's handling of the two narrative strands. It's very swift and they both inform and complement each other because you have the whole mystery of why is Alex going to court and the, the flashbacks to the summer of 85 inform and complement that mystery that's unraveling before our eyes. I think Ozon's craftsmanship of how he brought it all together was quite well executed. When the revelations come later in the movie, it does hit you in the feels. It's very emotional. I also need to praise the performances in Summer of 85 because the entire cast are phenomenal. Obviously, the weight of this film rests on the shoulders of its two young lovers, Felix Lefebvre and Benjamin Boisson, are absolutely captivating together. I loved watching them. They just had a real genuine chemistry. It just felt very natural. It can be very easy to go overboard when you're dealing with the melodrama of first love. And there are some moments where it gets very melodramatic, but there was no point where I didn't believe what I was watching. I really want to talk about my favorite scene in this film, but it is a bit spoilery, so I'm going to talk about it as vaguely as I can, but it involves one of the characters doing a dance routine to Rod Stewart's sailing. This scene I found so effective. It's very powerful, very well done. The actor really commits to the dance and it's just very expressive and emotional and somehow manages to be both really sad and uplifting simultaneously. I got goosebumps watching that scene. It was phenomenal. As for negatives, I would say that some of the supporting characters felt a little bit underdeveloped. 
I would have liked a little bit more of the relationship between Alexei and his father. The relationship between him and his mother is beautifully handled, but I felt like there could have been a little bit more brought out of the dad. It just felt like he was kind of off to the sides. So let's ask them three questions. Firstly, would I watch this again? Definitely. Question number two, do I recommend it for you guys? Yes, it's a lovely watch. It does take a little bit of time for it to find its groove, but once it does, it's very enveloping. Question number three, what score do I give it out of 10? I found Summer of 85 very effective. I was very invested in it. And you know how I can tell it's a good movie is because I made my boyfriend go watch a movie with subtitles and he managed to stay awake. Okay, that is something worth celebrating. He can do he's dozed off in an Avengers movie before, so if this can hold his attention, it's doing something right. <laughs> So I'm gonna give Summer of 85 a score of eight out of 10. But as always guys, just one bloke's opinion. I want to hear from you. Have you guys seen Summer of 85? What did you think of it? What score would you give out of 10? What do you have to say about this movie? Let me know in that comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, please help me out by hitting that like button. If you want more movie and TV content just like this, don't forget to click subscribe. And if you wanna follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Letterboxd, all those links in the video description down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. For more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Airfield, and I'll see you next time.